Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Happy to see you. My name is Javier and for today's video, we will be unboxing the shop company's male full body dress form. This thing was supposed to be here like a week ago or so. Oh, it wasn't supposed to ship for like a good couple, two more weeks, but it got here a couple days ago. It's been sitting in the corner of my room and I can't wait to open it. But enough of me talking, let's get into the video. How about we just start off with saying like, oh my freaking goodness. Like, oh my goodness. When you see this, you're probably going to be, uh, I don't even know, I'm speechless right now. Let, let me just show you. Let's just open this. Like, I'm excited. I don't even know where to open it or what direction because I don't want it to like fall out upside down. You know what I mean? It's a big moment. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't imagine what a full size man size would be. This is a young male dress form, I would say. Let's take out this bad boy. He has a risen. Whew. She's on fall. With this stand as a set of arms to adjust the height. And then this is the heaviest thing that is in here. Time to take out the bubble wrap. Oh, oh my goodness. Size 34, because I'm pretty small, but this looks really small. This is only size that was size 29 and a half around the waist, and I'm a 29, but everything looks kind of small. Like my legs are not this small. Do my legs look that small? Maybe they are small. Anywho, let's remove the other stuff. This is a rod where you can adjust its height. Comes with two arms, which I love. She's on fall. Comes with its pull. Should have saw that one coming. Oh, I opened it upside down. Caster wheels. Pretty cool. They have like these blue color. Not a big fan, but whatever. The pedal, the spring, some screws, and the stand. This is pretty heavy. And the directions. One thing I forgot to mention is that my channel is about just lifestyle videos and also lifestyle projects, sewing projects and woodworking and other random things. So if that does interest you, consider subscribing. This is how it looks out of the box. I noticed it has like a tear. You guys see that? It's like a tear. If I lift this up, it's like peeling skin. I don't know how that happened. It didn't happen when I just fell right now. I swear that wasn't me. Like I didn't even grab it from this side or anything. But this is how it looks. The stand, more of the stand, and then the wheels and everything. We're gonna build this right now. Okay, install the four caster wheels by screwing them onto the four, four holes underneath the base. Okay, I can do that. Oh. Just like this little groove here. And that's gonna go into here. It's perfect. Comes with these guys. We gotta put the spring. That's a good sign. Yes, that's a good sign. And then we gotta put in the screws. Put this in here. There is one back here. It says there's two, but I only see one hole. It says there's two screws, but there's only one hole. So I'm kinda just like, what? There's like no other hole except for that one. So I have no clue what they mean by that. I just had to secure it tightly. I wanna put the Pull, push here, this opens, I'm gonna pull this in here. It doesn't hit my roof, and it does. I might have to do it at an angle. That's not really good. Okay, never mind. Move all the way over here. My roof is so short. Oh my god, my ceiling. My roof. I'm gonna have to slide it. Push the pedal through. Okay, there you go. Oh, sweet. The last thing I need to do is put the dress form into here. And I'm just gonna do that by basically just sliding it in there. And I'm gonna have to lift this up and it's gonna have to be at least this tall. So I'm just gonna do that now like that. But um, it needs to be higher. So now I have to unscrew it. I put this up against here so I know how high it should go. Hit the pedal and raise it at least like that. And now release, slide this in, and it's good to go. The one thing I'm noticing is that um, even with the stand on here, and if it's at its lowest, it's gonna hit this bottom part. And I'm 5'6", so I need this to be lower. My height, my height exact, it has to drop a good, I don't know how 
13 inches. Basically until it hits the floor and that'll be my height, I think. All right, so we're gonna check the waist. The waist is supposed to be 29 inches and a half. That's 30. If I pull it tight, tight, I think I just got scammed. And it's like a 29 and three quarters. Instead it's 29 and a half, that's a quarter inch difference. And if we measure my waist, I'm about 30. I gained weight. So I'm about 30, which is perfect then. Never mind, I'm not complaining. Now let's check the chest measurement. Almost 35. And then the waist measurement, which is the fullest part of the butt. Yeah, like 34. So it's kind of pretty accurate to me. I would say I can always pad it up, which is the great part. You always want to get a dress form that is smaller than your size because you need to pad it up. So if I got something like that one, which I bought, and that one is waist is 32, I can't really take anything out of it and then drape it because I just have to do it on the pattern. But nobody got time for that. Let's try it on the arms. The reasons why I bought this one, because it has arms. The PMG, which is this one, they don't sell theirs with arms and it doesn't have collapsible shoulders. But since I mentioned that, let's do the collapsible shoulders. It should go in, which is great when you need to put clothes over it, which isn't that necessary, I believe so. If it's on a stand, basically you have to dress it from the bottom to the top. You really can't put it from the top to the bottom because this is on the way. Unless you take that off and that's just a whole different story. Put this in here like that in here like that i'm actually this tiny i don't really see myself this small it does have a bulge which i don't want because if i am doing this for drag um we don't really want to have a bulge down there we want to eliminate that so the fact that it has one that's good but for drag not so good i can't really smooth it out or anything so you have to live with it but everything looks great i love it this is the side angle this is the back other side angle it has all the stitching that it should, the waist tape. And the best part of these forms is that you can iron right on top of it. I made a video on my second channel where I made a caftan. So we'll dress it up with that. Okay, I dig it. I dig it. It looks great. Not gonna lie. And this is how it looks from the back. So if you want to learn how to make this, check out my second channel. The name of the dress form is called Professional Male Full Body Dress Form with collapsible shoulders and removable arms. Size 34. That's perfect. I love it. I can't wait to use it. If you do subscribe and this is your first time subscribing to my channel, hashtag new subscriber in the comments below so I can thank you. And like this video, share it, do whatever you need to do with it. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.